Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Aries? I hope you're doing amazing. Let's get into your reading. We're going to get into the tarot and then we will be pulling out some oracle cards to see exactly what's going on. All right, we're starting hard and heavy here. We have the tower card. We have the ace of wands. Okay, major, major change for you, Aries. For a lot of you guys, this could indicate a new passion, um, a new beginning in regards to love and romance. For others of you, there is a major transition that's happening here in regards to the potential uh, to bring to you some type of manifestation, whether it be on the finance department or whether it be in love and romance. The Ace of Wands is always passion. Now, your next card here is the Page of Coins. Okay, so we're talking about what they're showing me here with the Tower card. The Tower is a moment in time where our world is shaken, where we are challenged. Uh, the Ace of Wands is new beginnings. This is a new passion being ignited. This is you taking on your power, Aries, and marching on with a goal, with a determination, Some something that you've been working very hard towards with the Page of Coins. It has not came, uh, come easy. However, there is a, transform, a transformational type of energy here. For a lot of you guys, this could represent shattering certain ideas or certain ways of seeing life that is no longer going to be hindering your progress or growth. This could be self-limitating energy. We also have the Ten of Cups here. Beautiful energy, you guys. For a lot of you Aries, we're talking about thinking long-term. The month of February is going to be about what is it that I want to bring into my life for the long haul, for the long-term. For some of you guys, this is you really feeling like you're ready to take it to the next level when we're talking about relationships. Now, you don't have to be in a relationship. You can be single and come to the understanding that you're ready or you're prepared for some type of commitment. This is you no longer dating just to date. This is talking about dating with purpose. This is talking about making moves in your career that are going to be with purpose because you're wanting some type of goal, some type of manifestation. This is you being methodical, Aries. This is not you jumping quickly just because you have an idea. No, this is you with the page of coins really counting, you know, putting your ducks in a row. This is you figuring out the methodical way. How do I get from point A to point B? And following through with that. With the Ten of Cups, this is, like I said, very transformative energy here, you guys. This is dating with purpose. This is making moves in career and finances that are going to affect you for the next coming few years. Uh, this is, again, all about momentum here. Now, your next card here is the Page of Cups. So yeah, I see for some of you guys, this is you making the decision that you're ready to uh, bring some type of commitment or open yourself up to the opportunity of something long term. We have the Knight of Wands here. So we have two pages, a lot of communication coming and happening for the month of February. We have the King of Swords. You may be dealing with, uh, sorry, with an air energy, uh, Libra, uh, sorry, Libra, Gemini, Aquarian energy. We have fire, uh, Sagittarius, Leo type of energy as well. We have water, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I see all the elements here. Um, now, we also have here the Justice card. Yeah, so I think that for some of you guys, this is you coming to some type of realization of having a clear and crystallized idea of where you want to go and where you want to lead in regards to your life. This is you making decisions about cutting people out that are no longer serving you. This is you coming to the understanding if you've been holding a relationship or some type of connection with someone that is purely based on physical and you don't see any future or anything moving forward, this is you completely cutting them off with the king of swords, being almost like, I don't want to say harsh, but being methodical again about what you want to give your energy to. 
the king of swords could come off a bit cold. This is talking about thinking with your head, not leading with your heart. This is you making rational decisions that are going to, you know, ultimately determine how we go moving forward with the justice card below the 10 of cups for some of you guys this is marriage for others of you this is conversating or having a conversation about marriage being completely honest and transparent and saying hey you know what we've been together for quite a while now i think that the next step to do is to take it to the next level whether it be like you know legal marriage or moving in with each other uh there is a lot of communication that's going to be happening here you have two pages and one night uh, these are messengers. These are people that are coming in, bringing in messages. Communication is it's very, very transformative type of energy. For some of you guys, this can also represent, um, you know, pregnancy. Um, I don't naturally see pregnancy with the Tower, Ace of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. But with the Page of Cups underneath the Tower, for some of you guys, it could be a situation where... Uh, you accidentally get pregnant or you accidentally impregnate someone or there is something that has to do with the responsibility of birthing or taking on a responsibility and saying we are you know we are pregnant i think the the, the best thing to do is to bring some type of stability um and and i don't feel like you're making it out of so much like just responsibility i feel that you're really looking at the future that's what the month of February is going to be for Aries. It's going to be about, you know, planting the seeds of where you want your life to go. For some of you guys, there's been with the Tower and the Ace of Wands, there's been a lot of chasing, um, a lot of chasing in regards to career, in regards to finances, in regards to just chasing after lust, uh, temporary satisfaction. With the Page of Coins, there's some type of reflection here. There's some type of okay, this is not truly genuinely fulfilling me. Uh, what is it that I really want? And with the 10 of cups, it is not only commitment, but it is the idea of coming home and having what in your head would be ideal. And, and that's where that's where you're propelling yourself to go. Uh, page of cups, communication, love communication, being honest and transparent with the Knight of Wands, making uh, choices or changes in our life because we want more structure with the King of Swords here. We want more clarity. We want more meaning to the choices and decisions that we make moving forward. The justice, the balance, you know, balancing the scales. This is uh, some type of commitment, some type of elevation that's that's happening. Um, and I feel that this for a lot of you, Aries, you cannot like you may even not understand exactly what's going on internally, but there is something within you that is telling you, I want change in my life. And for some of you guys, it'll you know, that that clear understanding will happen throughout the month of February. For others of you, you may already feel that you may already acknowledge that you're looking for things with purpose. Um, and, and you're starting to arrange or make certain changes to be able to, you know, get you to where you want to be. But this is this is your soul's need right now for growth and expansion. It's about making choices, making changes with purpose, because we want to move forward in, in, a, in the most clear way, knowing where our destination is or knowing at least wanting to know clearly what we're walking towards okay so beautiful beautiful energy aries i definitely see for some of you guys here um some hard decisions that are going to be half you know you're going to have to be making for the month of february uh hard decisions decisions um basically when i say hard decisions it's more to do with habits um, habits are never something easy to break. We are uh, human in nature and human in nature is all about, uh, you know, we refuse, we're creatures of habit, we refuse changes, um, but it's necessary. It's necessary for your self-growth. It's necessary for your happiness. 
So again, a very beautiful reading. Let's see what Spirit's message is here. We're going to be pulling out three cards and let's see what Spirit's direct message for you, Aries, are for this month of February 2021. Spirit's messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> now, your first card here is Solitude. So I feel that because we have two pages here and the Knight of Wands, you have a tendency of trying to, trying the best you can not to be alone. And I feel that the reason for that is because uh, perhaps uh, th that could be part of the reason why we have a tendency of entertaining temporary connections because we don't want to deal with certain things that either we've been suppressing or that only when we are alone we have to deal with. But I feel that all of this, and this could be you, uh, Aries, that you've been experiencing this for the past couple of months where you're not very social or perhaps you're not trying to be very social. And this is just your soul's need to recharge, to uh, get clarity, to get insight. And sometimes the best way to do that is through solitude, to spending time with ourselves. Now, your next card here is protection. So you are protected. You're being guided, Aries. I feel that you guys are going into the next cycle of your life with purpose. And rarely um, do we see that uh, in a reading, to be quite honest with you. So I think that uh, you're definitely coming into your own. You are most definitely uh, going to be experiencing the best, the best life, living your best life. Uh, with protection, this can also indicate... Um, you know, having the need to tune in uh, spiritually, to feed your soul on a spiritual level. Now, your last card here is flexibility. Um, so I feel that what they're telling you here is for the month of February, uh, Aries, if you should feel like you are being a bit impatient, like you are you don't know what it is that you want for some of you guys, but you know that there are certain changes that need to happen. Be easy on yourself. Be patient. Spend some time alone to get clarity and insight. Do not doubt your path or your purpose. You're being guided right now. Keep an open mind. Keep an open heart. We are the only ones that set our own limitations. Release yourself from any dogmatic uh, any self-limiting beliefs, release yourself from all of that. You are capable of achieving whatever it is that your mind uh, and your focus goes towards, and you will be able to see that. Um, but again, be easy with yourself, okay, my lovelies? I wish you guys the very best. I hope this gives you some type of guidance, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.